What's up, you broken server? Alright, so, uh, it's a slow week this week, I was saying. Yeah, and you know what? I forgot to take these off again because I'm a fucking idiot. Alright, so before we talk about the very little things I do want to talk about, I've noticed a, uh, thing about some people in the gaming community as a whole, especially the Zelda community, oddly enough. And that is, uh, the ignorance of speedrunning. So I, I wanted to give, like, a PSA because people are ignorant, like I just said. So... It's one thing to not like speedrunning, you don't enjoy watching speedrunning because of this, that, whatever. But then shunning people for the speed uh, running and the stuff because it's not the exact way you would like to play that game. Is this an ingenuous? So I've, I've had these arguments with a couple people before, uh, one of them being a friend. and But then I've realized that there's actually a lot of people... I don't think it's majority, but there's a lot of people who, I guess, just don't fully grasp the concept of why speedrunning is a thing. So, the main issue people have with speedrunning is, this is usually any percent runs, and you're glitching the game, and you're playing it how it wasn't intended to be played, and you're skipping story, yada yada yada, to beat the game fast. And that's not how the game is supposed to be played. You play the game to enjoy the story, and the, 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 that whole thing. And while you're not wrong on, you know, playing the game how it's meant to be played, you're wrong that they shouldn't be playing it like that. Okay, here's my, okay, here's my argument. Do you really think speedrunners do this the first time they play a game? Do you think the Ocarina of Time speedrun that just broke, like, insane records was from a guy who just turned that game on? that day and it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna glitch the game to the credits no you probably played it before played the story liked the game and then saw potential in trying to beat it fast it's like hey how fast can I beat this that's how every speed run ever is and there's a hundred percent speed runs if people want to do all the items and stuff but still and that's still speed running still using tactics to get what they need and stuff like that no one's first experience with the game especially at a grand game like Legend of Zelda. Uh, no one's first experience is I'm gonna speedrun this game. They've probably played the game about 30 times before they even thought about trying to go for world records. Yeah, they have to replay the game over and over again. And if that's not what you want to do, that's fine. I'm not saying you should speedrun. But watching a speedrun is impressive in itself. It's 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 awesome. And that go leads into my second point of people saying that it's not impressive to use glitches. Alright, and this was on a video of literally the most most precise glitch ever. To be able to skip to the credits isn't as easy as, oh, I found a hole in the wall that for some reason had a loading zone into the credits. No. They have to manipulate game code using very specific movements, picking up very specific option uh, options objects at specific times and manipulate them in very specific ways to trick the game to bring them into the credits or even before that one with the Gandorf castle glitch there's a very specific things you have to do in the specific order to get to that point if you can't do that and you screw it up once that entire speed run is done you have to redo it it takes a lot of skill and a lot of practice to get something that that precise down speed speed running takes skill even and especially like it's 100 percent speed runs take a lot of skill because you need to know everything you need to be able to do everything one person's argument was that it's just most of them you just practice and that doesn't take skill if you just redo over and over again motherfucker do you know what the fuck's the word skill means so i'm a martial artist i haven't said that in any of these videos i don't think and I teach martial arts, so I feel like I'm pretty good at m my art of martial. So when somebody goes to punch me, and this has happened before, my muscle memory kicks in and I know to block. Does that mean I'm not a skilled martial artist because I don't have to think about the movement because I've practiced this motion about a couple thousand times? 
realistically probably even way more than that. If the answer is anything but no, you are skilled because you practiced, then you have to think that people who do speedruns are also skilled. Again, you don't have to play the game like that. Games are meant to be played the way they should be played. Or not should be played. The games are meant to be played any way you want. Like Mario Odyssey put things, put like coins in areas that they wouldn't even think people could even reach. But it's like, you know what? If somebody could reach this, fuck it. Alright, so I, I, I got my rant out of the way. Um, next bit of news. Um, Rocket League did a thing. And by doing a thing, I meant made us stop doing things. And that thing is, there's, um, I'm playing the game. Yeah, so, throughout the weekend, um, like, I think it was four days or something crazy like that, uh, Psyonix, their Rocket League servers were down and people were mad and blamed the Psyonix because everything isn't perfect because if something goes wrong, then they should be hated on bringing out the pitchforks because they, the servers didn't run perfectly 100% of the time for five years straight. All right, you know, okay. Let's preface this. All right, so throughout the weekend, servers were down, people couldn't play because they were under maintenance. Uh, some people were able to sneak in a little bit there, but then, you know, most people couldn't play, and, you know, servers were down, and uh, people were complaining about it. Uh, one person even, like, really wanted just to blame Psyonix. It's like, you guys are idiots and stupid, and you're fucking up, and that is the sign of a person who doesn't know how game companies work and how servers work at all. To expect servers to work 100% of the time, with no faults, is asinine. They're only human. They can only do so much with these servers. Something big must have happened, or maybe maybe one person might have fucked something up, and now the old team is getting blamed for it, or something. Anything could have happened to the servers. This is not the first time I'm sure this game has gone through maintenance. Nor is it the first game, nor will it be the last. World of Warcraft goes under all the time. Not all the time, but a lot of MMOs have, like, scheduled maintenances. Where, like, you can't play this game from this to this because we're going to put maintenance. But Rocket League has a, a four-day screw-up with non-stop working servers. And you think that's a bad thing? Like, yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't play Rocket League for a few days. Oh shit, there's other games to play. <laughs> like, it, like, you don't be bound to one game. You, you, you can take a rest from Rocket League for a couple days. It's it's not bad. Like I, like, I play a lot of Rocket League. But I know that I can also play other games. Like, it's not the end of the world. Just play other games. And if you're one of those people who's like, Well, I work 60 hours a week and I only have like an hour or two to play games at night or whatever. There's, there's other games that are... For that too, like Tetris, you got Tetris 99, you got Asphalt 9, there's a lot of 9s. You got other types of mobile games on your phone, you have, you know, a lot of Switch games are built to just have a quick run through. There are games out there that could suffice that little time. Rocket League isn't the only one. And anybody else who's like, oh yeah, I have plenty of hours to play games, then you have no room to bitch. Again. Game companies run into this all the time. Be mad at Psyonix because their servers got, got messed up and they had to fix it. It's not like they wanted that to happen. It's not like, you know what, I feel like fucking with my fans today. Eh. Okay. Well. I'm just gonna watch them dance. You got, you, got, you know, secret Psyonix developers like in Facebook groups and like... Ha. <laughs> Pose mad. Like, no, that doesn't happen. Also, people need to stop blaming Epic for anything Psyonix does, even though, e yes, Epic owns Psyonix now. We get it. But Epic doesn't do anything with, like, it's a publisher and a developer. That, that's basically the relationship they have. Yeah, they have their own input, but basically Psyonix is still doing just what they do. They haven't, they haven't changed. They just have more of a budget, and maybe they have a little bit of an influence to how things could work. So yeah, that, that's just me bitching about people not knowing how servers work and understand that problems will arise. Shit happens. Just fucking play Dragon Ball or Tetris or Gra Call of Duty. Stop, just something to fill in, just fill in that fucking void. I don't fucking...
hair. And on our last bit of news, which makes me happy and makes some people actually straight up in denial, apparently Sakurai s uh, admits there hasn't been like any official quotes yet, but it seems to be it seems to be reputable, and I'm sure this is he actually does think this. Because I, I do not see him as a stupid man. He apparently admits that there are too many Fire Emblem characters. And sword characters. I'll get to that second point later. Too many Fire Emblem characters is damn right. But, like what is uh, rumored to be said, there, Nintendo had a little more influence than people think. Not all of it was Sakurai's ch choice. Nintendo was probably like, no, you're gonna put in Fire Emblem because... Bullshit. And then Sakura is like, well, okay, I guess I'll try to soften the blow by apologizing to people before I even tell them. And yeah, and trying to make the make it a not another sword character, yada yada yada. I, I just wanna say told you so. Like when when the creator, when the director of the game says there's too many of a certain character, you know there's too many of a certain character. And I think Nintendo finally realized that Smash isn't something to fuck with, and just to put your goddamn ads as a character in the game that people love to death is just not a smart thing to do. You're gonna piss people off more than anything. Again, have you seen those pop videos? You know, the fucking crowd of people in front of the screen was like, yeah, characters. You know, like, you know, those group gatherings, and then, like, Biva comes up, and then, like, every single amount of hype just never existed ever don't do that again but now on the point of sword fighters in general sword fighters are fine I'm okay with sword fighters we still don't it's still not over brawlers it is over shooters but it's it's a it's a fighting game so having shooters is hard to do I mean you could probably put a couple more in but I could see why there's not a lot of shooters for sword fighters, that's melee combat. That makes a lot of sense. And I, I maybe he's just saying sword in general. Maybe he is thinking about other types of weapons to be in the game. Like let's say a certain champion that happens to be a Goron that happens to use a hammer. That'd be a cool character. Or a certain bird that uses an arrow and uh, wind things. Or a certain fish that uses a spear. You know where I'm getting at. So other weapons could be introduced. And, you know, a keyblade is not a sword. It's a sword-like weapon, but it isn't exactly a sword. Sadly, Lloyd does use swords, so I can't really make an argument for him. But my point being, sword has never been the issue. People saying sword characters really just mean Fire Emblem characters. Because they think all sword characters play alike, when really only, you know, you got the four Fire Emblem characters that are based off of each other. In Ultimate, you know, you got Mar you got Marth and Roy, which Roy is based off of Marth. And you got Krom that is an echo of Roy. And you got Lucina who is an echo of Marth. So you got four people who have the same base moveset, with little changes here and there. That's probably why people think, oh, they all play the same. Because there's four characters who are basically the same goddamn thing. I've talked about this before, but I think I have. I just feel like I had to reiterate it so then people could think, um, okay. Yeah, these are legitimate facts that he's spewing out of his face. Because Hero is not like Robin, Robin is not like Corn, Corn is not like Byleth, Byleth is not like Link. Young Link and Toon Link are like Link in ways, but they're still pretty different. But they're, you know, they are similar, but they're still different. That's why they're not Echoes. You know what I'm saying? So, having more sword characters is fine, as long as their movesets are different. It's something that makes them unique. Like, Sora using a Keyblade. He has very vastly different types of combos than any other character would have. Plus, how he would use either his magic or uh, shot lock or any other abilities from Kingdom Hearts games. I don't know, you know, what, you know, grab what works and what doesn't. I'm not the developer, Sakurai, you are. Well, you're the director, you got other people to develop. But uh, you get what I'm saying. Sword characters are fine. Use, use weapons, use hammers, spears, shields, shovels. But yeah, I'm just saying, weapons are fine. It's Fire Emblem that's the issue. Representation is the issue. That's why people are mad, Sakurai. 
But you are correct that there are too many Fire Emblem characters, and I'm glad that you see it, and you acknowledge that our complaints have not gone to deaf ears. Good stuff, Sakurai. Damage control. Get that extinguisher and just be all like... Gonna clean your face, gonna clean your stupid face, gonna clean your face, gonna clean your stupid face, yeah. So that's all I really want to bitch about today. Um, I'm gonna move this where it should have been. And, uh, yeah, so if you like this episode, thumbs up. If you want to see more from us, subscribe. And if you want to support the show and my livelihood, uh, you can't give me money at Patreon. I don't. Uh, I don't expect it whatsoever. But if you want to, go for it. And um, and links to everything are down below. So until next time. Bye.